Welcome back, Chords and Notes Nation. It's time, once again, for Alec Bata, July 97. This is apparently his, an original of his, so I'm always looking forward to everything that he does, and I want to hear what this is all about. He's actually using a tag mine instead of his usual court guitar that he uses. Now, if you guys know which one did he start with, or, yeah, why don't we do that? Did he go from court to tachamine, or does he just play whichever he wants to play? I'm kind of curious about that. Uh, looks like it's a really, really nice guitar. Looks like it has um, it has a pickup there. It's an electric acoustic because it has uh, the equalizer on the on the body, the side of the body. So this looks like it's uh, well. Let's see. This is from six months ago, so this has got a, this is newer. This is a newer one. Um, and he's got the headphones on and everything, so looks like the technology is improving a little bit for him, just as mine is. <laughs> Anyways, welcome if you were new here. Hey man, we do things raw, honest, and unedited here. We've got a huge, all of the Elippers are welcome here. Huge, huge fan base. This is number, t the f 21st video of his that I am reacting to. I have a playlist put together. Check it out. It'll probably show up on, on the end screen here, so you can you can click on that and check it out. And uh, Please subscribe and like. Those two are so very important for growing the channel, and that's, that's the idea, is to grow the channel. Super thanks. It would be really appreciated. Donation requests are taken at PayPal, and becoming an official member of Chords and Notes Nation is through Patreon. All of that information is in the description box below. Let's get started. <laughs> What did he just do? the master absolutely I think he was in the key of G there I'm noticing a lot of the 
the chords there. So he had a G major, A minor, F sharp. Um, was that an F sharp minor that he was using? I think it was an F sharp minor. Maybe minor seven, I don't know. I didn't have my ears tuned to it, but I was just looking at the chords, trying to figure out what what key he was in. So I'm I'm guessing there was a C major in there too. I'm guessing I'm guessing he was in the key of G major, um, which is one that I'm spending some time, a lot of time on recently, and uh, and it's just such a nice a nice key. Um, I just thought it was like absolutely brilliant, and and I, I the melody was so soothing and and almost melancholy which i you guys i like melancholy i'm a huge catatonia fan and they are the masters of melancholy so um that's a that's a big it's a big deal to me and and for to to say listen this was this was master masterful melancholy that's that's high praise um and and just the playing was uh, no less than fantastic as always I've I've never had any complaints about about his playing. The only thing that I would say is that um, I think the tone was a little was it the tone in in the electric guitar. I think it was it was subdued a little too much. I think it could have been a little bit brighter and a little bit more up front. Um, you don't want to overpower the acoustic har harmonies, but. I think it was just, it was a little on the dull side. I think it needed to be sharper. Uh, so that would be more like in the mixing and in the, in the sound. Uh, but the performance and the, and the song itself was just truly amazing. Absolutely brilliant. Um, absolutely masterful. There we go. There we go. We're just going to keep listening to him forever. <laughs> All right. God bless you guys. Remember, Jesus loves you. And I will talk to you later.